Hey guys, Kev here, and I wanted to do my EDC update for June. So, it is June 6th, a couple days after Blade Show. I'm still settling in, but uh, I'm on my lunch. I went over to Chick-fil-A, had me a Chick-fil-A sandwich, because, you know, I didn't have enough of those at the show. Um... I got some new glasses, so that'll be our first thing here. Um, these are Shady Rays. So I got a new set of Shady Rays. These are the Pro Polarized or whatever. They have two options now when you order. These are not prescription or anything. I wear contacts, so these are just um, regular sunglasses, but it's a cool pattern. I don't know what this one was called. It looks very similar to their classic uh, one, but just a little more rounded. And the pro polarizing makes it like HD vision. And it actually is. It's really good. Um, at first, I was like, that's bullshit. But um, it's not. And then I ordered, uh, whenever you order something from them, you always have the option to add a mystery set for 15 bucks, which is cool. You can't return these or get replacements. They have like a policy where you pay 15 bucks if you lose them, break them, whatever. That doesn't classify on these because they're... 15 bucks but um these are actually exactly what i would want so it was perfect um they tend to always nail that for me so this is like a black uh wood grain look and then it has the uh just basic sort of slate or whatever on the glasses it looks really good and you can see the difference they're just slightly different um these have those little star things in the corner right here and a little less round a little smaller maybe but both are fantastic and um yeah i really like clear glasses i know that's weird but when i had my uh when i wore glasses full time i got a set of shady rays prescription glasses in clear plastic and um they just i don't know i think they look pretty good on me so what are you gonna do um all right so, EDC update. One thing I wanted to show you is this thing. It's really cool. So, I actually have a couple things on my keys to show you. I'll turn the truck off for a second. So, first up, I got this uh, Kappa key ring from Urban EDC. You guys might have seen this last month. And it's from Prometheus Design Works, I believe. And um, it's titanium. And it's a quick release. Really nice. There's a little spring in there and man, does it work well. It's very nice. I have my uh, PO box key on it. So I can just, you know, if I'm heading out the door and I'm gonna walk to pick up my kid and walk to the post office, I just grab this, bang, I have my PO key, no problem. Or if I'm with my wife and kid or whatever in the truck and I'm gonna leave them in the car, right? Obviously if my wife's here, I can leave my kid in the car. If it's me and the kid, I take her with me because I'm, I'm not an idiot, but um, I can leave the truck running for them and just take this off and go get my stuff in the P.O. box. It's so good. I know that's stupid, but usually these suck. Usually they're uh, magnets and they're either too weak or they're too damn strong and they, they just like want to attach to everything. They bunch all your shit together. Uh, so I highly recommend these at Urban EDC if they're still there. The Prometheus, it might be Prometheus Lights and not design works can't remember um but it's called the kappa and here's the here's the logo so hopefully that helps but i love this thing um and it was like 25 bucks then um a company reached out to me on email and i was like you know sure i'll check it out because it looked like an interesting product and jesus kept the product was called the jimmy tronics Jimmy Tronics LLC, and they call it the Microt, the Micro T. I don't know. You guys tell me. It's M I C R O T. So Micro with a T. So I don't know if it's Microt, Micro T, Microt, Micro, the Micro, the Micro. You know, something like that. It could be French. I don't know. Um, but it's a little blade. And at first, I was like, you know, that looks cool. So I'll check it out, but like, I'm probably not gonna like this thing, right? Like it's just a little, you know, uh, thingamajigger. But dude, this thing is sweet. They made the button out of like some kind of aged bronze or brass, or I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. And then you just have this blade that slides on detents. And it comes out like that. I don't know what the steel is, 
They're working on a V2 that has a replaceable blade, so you can use those little, uh, like, scalpel blades or whatever that people use for arts and crafts, I think. And it literally just slides up and down, but the detents hold it really well, so it's not gonna, like, come out. Like, it's not moving at all. You have to push it, and you can either lock it in this detent where it's like just poking out a little bit, so she said, or you can push it all the way out so you have a little more blade. And dude, this thing is perfect for just z z z just cutting open boxes, you know, getting into shit. Like here's my bag, like it it slices too. I put it into paper, and it's not gonna like cut paper like a knife, but if you stab in and, and swipe, it will rip through it cleanly. It's it's very nice, guys. It's not like crazy sharp on the edges but it has a very nice sharp tip. I, I'm not sure if they said this, but maybe self-defense, like last ditch effort, you could zip somebody in the eyes with it or in the neck or something. Uh, I, you know, I don't recommend that. I recommend you carry a firearm if you're worried about that, but that's up to you guys. Um, this is obviously just a tiny little blade, but it's really cool. And I'm very surprised at how much I like it. And so I threw it on my uh, key with my P.O. box key. So now I can take it off when I need to. It doesn't take up any room. It's nice to have it on the key ring on something so you can have a little bit of grip, pop it up, zip zap, open your box, shut it down, and back it goes on your keys. Really, really cool. That's the Jimmy Tronics Micro or Micro or whatever, Microt. Uh, if I can link it, I will down below. I don't know. If they're for sale, I don't have any. They emailed me, they sent it, I got it, and then I was like, oh, okay, it's actually cool. So I'll get some information on it. I have a video coming, dedicated video on this, um, because I like it that much. So anyway, the only other thing I got recently on my keys, you guys know, I always have my pen. Um, so I have a magnetic little pen in here. This is from TEC Accessories, and uh, I think they call it the Pico Pen. And basically it's just a little magnetic pen, takes D1 refills so you get a nice little ballpoint and it hangs on your keys, beautiful. I have a um, toothpick, so just a titanium toothpick that comes off, screws on like this, oops, screws on like this and you're good to go. I believe this is the one I picked up from uh, the titanium store at Blade West. So I don't have, that's all I have information wise, but I've done a video on these and the pens. Go check that out. You can get all the links to everything. But I did pick up this guy. So this is a JRW Tough Clip. And the one I had originally, you guys have seen probably a bunch of times, is the Cash Clip. It had a Urban EDC Sagaha pattern on it, and it was called the Cash Clip. It was a thin version of this. And it worked just fine for my keys, but it was meant for being a money clip. Um, this is a bit stiffer and everything. And I just like the look of plain tie better. So when I saw these are available, they're like 50 bucks. I picked one up from JRW. They were at Blade Show. I walked by, um, I didn't get to really chat with them much, but I just told them I love this thing. And they said, there's uh, a Best Damn EDC carry commission version with Topo. There's the Urban EDC one, and then they have their own in brass and tie. So if you guys are interested, check it out. It comes with a cool O-ring, so you can't slip past, even though I've never done that. Um, so that's my keys. Turn the AC back on. Um, Knife-wise, well, let me hit the flashlight first. I picked up a new light at Blade Show. I got a new CWF Micro Arcadian or Micro Click. This is in DLC. So it's titanium with a DLC over top, and then it's Zer blasted. Um, very, very cool. I put my um, Zerkutai clip on there and tuned it, tuned it, uh, I keep saying that, and programmed it to my 15 and 100 setting that I like, and that's it. I still have my other one. I just swapped the clips, and I'm carrying this one for now. I'm sure I'll swap back and forth or whatever. I just love this light so much. And I think having two for me is good because I carry it every single day. I use it every single day, multiple times. And I think it's probably good to switch them in and out a little bit so I don't wear them out too quick because every single day 
for years, it can, you know, probably wear them out. I've had to get one replaced already because I let my kid play with it too long. Uh, Knife-wise, I have two new ones to me, but you guys have probably seen them already. This is the iMamba from uh, Arno Bernard Brothers. Absolutely love this knife. Um, could not be happier. I've had one issue with it. The uh, screw for the steel insert stripped out. So I, at the show, I was like, I was checking for play and I felt something weird. So I checked the lock bar insert and it was just a little loose. So I tightened it down a little bit and then everything was fine. And then the next day, same thing, had to tighten it again. So then when I got home yesterday, or um, I guess, I don't know when I messed with it. I think it was yesterday. I took the screw out because I wanted to Loctite or glue it in, right? And I took it out, cleaned everything, got a bunch of black shit out of there. It had Loctite on it already. <clears throat> and then I just put it back in to test how tight I wanted it. <clears throat> and it was just spinning and spinning. So I think whatever Loctite they had on there was holding it in place pretty much. But once I took it out, it just fully stripped those threads out. And um, they sent me, I hit them up. They were super nice about it. They were like, those are custom steel inserts. Cause I asked, can I pay or can you send me a insert and a screw? I figured why not get an insert too, in case that was the issue. But then I tried using one of the body screws. I took one of these out and I threaded it in there and it threaded in just fine. So I'm pretty sure it's just a screw strip. Cause it's a very small screw. And they were saying, it's a custom steel insert. They, they literally fit it to the knife. I'd have to measure and then they'd sand it down or whatever. Um, that's how they get the lockup to work really well, which is awesome to hear. Um, and I was like, you know what, here, and I just tried that screw, it worked. And I was like, I think it's just a screw. So just send me a screw. And then I uh, fished through my hardware box and I found this screw from a Lynch product. I don't know what it was from or what it was for. I don't even know. And it just threaded right in, no, you know, no resistance or anything. I just, I want to carry this. So I, you know, it was working without the screw. That's how, you know, fit in precision these things are. But I wanted to have a screw in there. So I just put one in there, should be fine. And then I'll, I didn't tighten it, tighten it too much or anything. I'll just take it out and swap it out when I get the new one. But that means I can still carry this and it still looks fine doesn't have that nice satin look to this the one screw but whatever um really cool i do wish it was like a belt satin traditional or something it's like it's a belt satin but it's a high polish um i like it a lot i've used it but you know it'd be cool to have something a little bit more working style um lefty flick works 98 percent of the time if i'm not on camera get low enough flies out it's a sabenzarius and it's so good you know um this is a sabenza killer to me because i don't want washers and i want uh flickability you know anyway the other knife i have on me is my new dawn this is a dawn v2 lefty so um I would love to see this in a uh, bead blast tie with purple collar, but he only did that with stone wash. And I really wanted the uh, hand satin. So like I had to choose, you know, what is that sound? That sounds so weird. You hear that when it locks up, it kind of like clicks. What the fuck is that? That sounds normal, but the front flipper sounds like um, like it's not engaging right. Everything seems fine. There it is. What the fuck? There, it sounds super weird. Do you hear that? It's almost like a double tap. I don't know. I'll mess with it. Maybe I got to take it apart. Um, I didn't want to have to do that. You know, one thing I never noticed about this knife 
is the blade there's a lot of handle left after the blade that's kind of interesting um and then my only other gripe with this knife is the thickness it just seems abnormally thick for a uh steel liner lock i mean it doesn't have a tie liner with insert or anything so it shouldn't have to be thicker but i measured it at 0.51 um which is like the same thickness as our original stout um it has some contouring so it's not as boxy feeling but it's weird the original was like 0.47 and it was amazing in the hand so i just you know i have that reference point i guess that um just you know makes me want that but there's nothing really wrong with it it feels good in the hand and everything um i just would love to see it thinner if he ever does a v3 or something um, but it's awesome glad he did lefties and all that good stuff so uh yeah i'll check this out when i get home because that's really weird i don't know what it's doing because it seemed lockup seems really good there's no stick you know it's not failing action's good just kind of does like a double click sound sometimes I don't know. Anyway, uh, that is it. Um, I have my pill thing. You guys have seen those before. And um, I didn't bring any fidgets because I haven't really been using them, to be honest. I have the NJT coins, and that's about it. Um, I got some new 3DC printings ones. I think that's the way to go, guys. If, if you want to try fidgets or you just want to have fidgets, but you, know, you don't want to spend knife money and shit on them, uh, check out 3DC printings. They're 3D printed, but they're fantastically made. Quality's good. Designs are awesome. And honestly, they're just as fidgety as the $300 ones. So I've come full circle on that. But there it is. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all of the support. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.